Good morning, everyone. Before we start, uh, we have a disclosure and we need to read that disclosure very carefully. We started a little bit early today. Uh, before we, we start, uh, I'd like to cover uh, what we, uh, we have here. We, have, we are running three different automated trading. If we look at the market analyzer on the left corner here, you will have signals on the first column. I'm not the one who call in those signals. The signals comes automatic with uh, three different automated trade, ATM, ATM strategy, and a fully automated trade. And then it gives you the direction and a safe entry as a pullback re-entry where we're gonna be entering the market. Entry price, as an example now, is 2908.75. The target is 2915.50. And then we are on the 26 ticks from that signal trade. The same story on the NASDAQ. Uh, right now on the last signal here, we have a 27 ticks. The market analyzer is based on one contract, one contract only, and a one minute. Uh, the uh, the chart is uh, based on uh, two contract, but the market analyzer is based on one minute and uh, and uh, uh, one contract. And then it tells you how many ticks uh, is in that trade and the total of that trade, how much it made. At the moment, we are 270 or 281 ticks based on the last signal, not a all day long. It's a base on the last signal. Uh, the same story comes to the Forex and stock. You can feed your auto trade to take the stocks, 100 stock each or 1,000 stock on each uh, signal. But also, as, uh, it works on the stocks. Uh, you can use the fully automated to trade. And it, uh, you can use the system on Forex. If we look in here at the Forex, we are using the, the 10,000, which we are using a mini Forex. The blue market analyzer here, it is the scalper. And uh, we use two different scalper. We use a one minute and 150 takes a scalper. And this is your one minute and your 150 takes a scalper. Uh, at the bottom here, uh, we do have uh, the the swing trading and I will be showing you some of the swing trading here uh, right now as an example on the ES one minute we are on that trade on the swing trading eight hundred dollars on that swing trading none of the system require any optimization or back testing or forward testing those all of them based on a turn on turn off uh, basis. <clears throat> One of the things I like to highlight on those, uh, for the ones is in you, if you look at those area here, those area here is the where is the pullback re-entry where most of the traders make mistakes. They don't understand when there is a reversal or when the market is going short or is running out of a trend and now is short. This is where 90% of amateur trading losing money. On that system here, and like uh, the normal auto trades, where on the normal auto trade, the auto trade taken left and right, up and down all the time. This is your normal convention, uh, normal auto trade you have uh, at your system, whether it's from us or somebody else, or even in, on the scalper in that matter, it's the same story. You can, it's going up and down and uh, uh, and uh, whatever it is a trade, it will be taken trade. Uh, on the system here, it is much more advanced and it is more like as you are trading yourself. It's not like those um, uh, limited uh, automated trade where it's taken left and right. So on the pullback re-entry, what we see on the market analyzer, uh, those are Sorry, we have a trade on the next day. Uh, 
Okay, so on the fully automated, you will exit here, and it's done. Okay, on the full automated, that's where you will be exit. On that system here, on that system here, where those area here, this is where the most efficient on the pullback re-entry, the auto trade, taking those trades, and then, and then if those market hold in this area, that's mean we still not thinking short, we are thinking long, okay? Once we cross those areas here, the system is gonna generate a new target, a new entry, and uh, the trailing stops is uh, based on floor and fibs. Most of the time those, Most of the time, if the the market is extremely, this one is gonna drag uh, the ES to new signal. Be careful, guys. We're gonna have a new signal on the ES. Okay, we exit on one, and we left one. This is gonna drag a new a signal on the uh, ES. So uh, this is an example, this is an ES, and now we are sitting in a very critical area in this uh, ES here. But let me get a, clear, a cleaner picture to, to, uh, for you to understand how those system work. Those are the critical area. Those are the critical area. As long as we are above those critical area, we're only thinking long, we're not thinking short. So a lot of traders don't understand what is a pullback, re-entry, what is a trend. They, they get uh, lost in those because they are using a very basic indicators, MACD, double MACDs, ATR, momentum. All those, is a, it's been around for, for over 20 years and they've been tweaked and retweaked and renamed and all this. This here is calculating everything from the high time frame and it giving you pinpoint target by itself. I'm not the one who's putting the target for you and I'm not the one who's generating. I don't wanna, uh, if we have a new signal, we need to keep our eye on a new signal in here. So I'm not the one who's giving you the new signal, the signals are here. So as long as this market is above this area here, we're only trying to find a re-entry and, and, uh, and uh, taking along. Uh, the auto trade go on the entry signal and start taking off. The same thing right now, immediately when the new signal came out, the auto trade NASDAQ took that trade and if we notice, it hit the targets by itself. It's always calculating uh, the targets for you. It's always calculating. The different on this market analyzer, the market analyzer is giving you an entry, target, exit, done. On the chart is re-updating your, uh, your targets. And if the trend is going to be strong, it's going to give you some extension and you can see how uh, sometimes even your trailing stop pull back like when you are doing on a manual trade this is the only system out there uh, sometimes the trailing stop pull back a few ticks here and there uh, to get uh, uh, a trade so this is um, this is a very there's a new signal on the es you see it so you're very welcome to follow that signal or not this is up to you if you want to follow any of our system, uh, you, it, we strongly advise you to be on a sim. We're not allowed to, uh, uh, we're not allowed to uh, call a trade for you. So when you see a new signal and you want to take it, you want to follow it on a sim. You're very welcome to follow it on the sim, uh, as long as we're not responsible for your trades. So please uh, remember that. 
And um, so right now we have a, a new entry signal. Uh, it's a 9.13.25 entry price. Uh, 2908 uh, is your target. Uh, thank you for all the email from yesterday. Uh, for the ones they followed us yesterday, they nailed 1,200 based on one contract. And uh, some of them, they nailed over 2,500 uh, for the ones they were following us on two contracts. So this is very nice, very good. And um, uh, uh, sometimes, once in a while, we call the trade for you uh, to show you um, if there is a potential reversal, I usually add it from my side and tell you there is a trade, but I'm a very clear about it uh, when we are calling those trades. So uh, so a trader should not be getting lost with uh, anything. Um, just give me a second. I'm trying to uh, get everything working. I was surprised and... Um, I have not activated anything on my servers here uh, yet, so give me a few seconds, please. Okay, I'm not uh, gonna exit this one here right now on the uh, on the uh, Nasdaq, and um, uh, this is where the new signal. Everybody got the new signal on the ES, and uh, sometimes we have a pullback. You will see the pullback as well uh, on the ES, and then this is the Nasdaq. We'll see how we'll uh, work on the. Uh, NASDAQ. Let me see if there's any other trade. Uh, there is nothing right now. Those automated to trade, uh, you follow, you keep your eye on that side, and then uh, you will get the new signal. I'm not the one who's generating those signals, so I have no control over those signals at all. When there is a new signal fires, when we are on a live here, it fires. When it's not, it's not. So as an example, if this uh, NASDAQ is not going to go anywhere, it's going to stay here. It's not going to be any new signal generated. You know? Uh, so... Uh, you know, uh, we have to wait till we get the new signal. Because now the NASDAQ is down, and this is where the most critical area on the NASDAQ, we are always thinking short. We're not thinking long. I don't want to get involved with the reversals today because sometimes I call manually uh, reversal a trade for to some of the traders, and we teach how to reverse the, the market. Um as long as this market below those areas here, the trailing stop one and the re-entry, and the trailing stop two, this is a major floor in FIPS. We are only thinking short. Pull back, re-entry, short, despite what the auto trade does. Once this uh, NASDAQ break those area here to the upper side, 
then we're gonna have a new signal generated and uh, we will uh, get with that trade. So for the ones that's following us on the ES, you got the new signal from the market analyzer. I'm not the one who's calling uh, the trades. And uh, if you are following on the, our trades, uh, it is on your own risk. Uh, look, we're not collecting any information. We're not collecting money. We're not collecting email. Uh, some of uh, the, the, the days we have outperformed many uh, trading rooms, they, they charge money uh, for, for uh, uh, the rooms. So what we are doing here, we are sharing free, uh, trying to help, and we are donating every day two hours uh, to uh, normal traders uh, that uh, cannot afford anything and uh, we appreciate it that it uh, does not fire back on us, you know. So uh, please, if you wanted to follow us, you're very welcome. If you cannot follow us, we wish you the happy trading. But uh, we have helped during those last three months. So many traders, they are in trouble and they do not have money to go uh, to a room. And, uh, and uh, their performance in those rooms, they're no better than ours at all. Actually, we are much ahead from most of those rooms uh, with uh, the trades and the signals. So nobody is doing us a favor here. Uh, so we're just trying to uh, uh, give back to those traders are in trouble at no charge, okay? So uh, if you wanna follow us, you're very welcome. And um, as long as we you know, respect each other's space on that matter. Uh, so uh, on the uh, NASDAQ, the NASDAQ party is over because we have a double support here for the ones they join us the first time. Uh, this is a two yellow lines. Those are the dead zone. You have two yellow lines on the top here and two yellow lines in here where this is where it's telling us this market is no longer shortable. Does mean this is a reversal area. And I normally uh, call those reversals manually, it has nothing to do with the auto trade. Uh, but today I'm gonna skip it because I need to keep my eye on a lot of things. So I'm not gonna be calling uh, uh, reversal trades at the moment, but I will try uh, to um, to keep my eye on everything for you here. Uh, <coughs> uh, the, uh, the YM one minute ES, uh, uh, they are amazing. Uh, they are really all those auto trades on the one minute, the fully swing trade in here on this market analyzer. They've been chasing this market and the ES NASDAQ uh, down zones, all of them are into a trade. And uh, I usually normally use the one minute. Of course, we have the three minutes and the five minutes and the ticks, but normally I show here in the room the minutes. And the reason is because 98% of those automated trade do not work on one minute. And when they do not work on one minute, that's mean they are nothing but garbage on your computer. You cannot auto trade rank a bar if your auto trade does not work on a minute. And you cannot use ticks if this auto trade does not work on a minute. And you cannot use range if your auto trade does not work on a minute. For the ones who have an auto trade from somewhere else, before you do anything on the range and wasting your weekends, you need to start doing optimization on your auto trade on the one minute. Once you see your auto trade, start working on the one minute and then you can move on to different time frame and uh, that's why a lot of them refuge to rank a bar and some kind of range no gap and there are some tweaking with the minutes line break because they want to cover the, the 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 problems and their auto trades and they want to give fake result at the end of the day nobody come in doing the trading hours and try uh, to show us all the instruments on one minute and show us how is the system working. 
during those last three months, we've been showing bad days, good days, losing trades, winning trades. And this is the way it has to be. Not to just at the end of the day, showing you a couple of chart made it and hide the rest of the chart that were disaster trading. So uh, to keep it friendly in here, uh, we, uh, we, we are sharing those information here uh for help and uh, whoever like uh, our system yesterday somebody sent me a link uh, to some company they charge money and uh, they claim a lot of stuff and then one of them the guy is leading that group he said it was a hell of a day to trade and it was very hard to trade and then uh, i said uh, i mean yesterday uh, it was a piece of cake for us and we we took uh, Whoever followed us yesterday made 1200 and whoever did not follow us. I mean uh, uh, Based on one contract and the ones they took two contracts and three contracts that went 2500 and 4000 uh, by 12 o'clock and where everybody claiming they are expert and uh, they lost a lot of they were struggling with $500 yesterday so for somebody claiming uh, he's an expert trader and he couldn't nail no more than $500 yesterday and uh, we were nailing just on the ES500, just on the ES500. So uh, that tells us where we are in the trading and uh, the performance and uh, we are showing everything. So there is nothing uh, um, uh, to, to be concerned about. Uh, as you notice yesterday, the scalpers, uh, those uh, two market analyzer here on the blue, those scalpers yesterday, they were, you can see that from the video, they were struggling uh, uh, the whole session and they were not making money. Uh, as you see today, uh, the one minute and the 150 ticks is killing the market today. So what I'm telling you is welcome to trading sometimes Sometimes you will have uh, uh, good days and sometimes you will have a bad day and uh, there is no one in this business is going to have a winner uh, every single day. That is not going to happen. Uh, for uh, the, uh, the uh, ES, the ones they follow the ES, we had the new signal right there on the ES. Now the ES is sitting right there on the 1325 and the target is 90825. I doubt it very seriously. The ES right now at this condition is gonna nail it all the way to the 2908 at the moment. But I can tell you one thing uh, that uh, ES, if it's gonna go drop down, it's gonna drop from 1325 to, to uh, 11. You know, so if you are following that trade because I'm chasing NASDAQ down zone CL. I, sometimes I cannot keep up with everything. So if you are following on that ES trade, you got to have a very light hand because of the probability you need to close that trade at 2911, even 2911, even this is where probably this market is going to be projecting. And if the trend is very strong on the pullback, retesting again, maybe by uh, 12 o'clock, we can nail that target. But at the moment, I don't see anything below the 911. Uh, this is a bad word, 911, 2911. So, uh, so we will see how things is gonna fall on this one. Uh, for the YM trading, we had the entry, we had the target. We are in those between those two yellow lines, and um, it is about to reverse on the YM. And uh, I will try, I have not been able to even activate uh, my servers yet, but uh, I will uh, try. Okay, I'm missing out a lot on this. Okay, uh, another message, please. I would like to uh, send a message to 
uh, our members uh, that uh, last week we were gonna uh, cover the beast scalpers uh, a new setting and I did not cover it all the way and uh, a lot of traders are following us on the on the YouTube and they are skipping the private webinars and this is not really uh, a brilliant idea uh, because uh, we have some updates we have some setting so for and um, you you know or, or some traders that disappear for three months uh, they call me Sam come to my computer and uh, update me what happened the last three months I mean this is a little bit overwhelming we have a lot of members so please uh, uh, it will be recorded every webinar and if you wanted to you cannot make it to the webinar at least trying to update your system trying to see what's going on trying to see what kind of setting we have because we have a lot of potentials on those uh, new settings with the the, the swing tradings with the the, uh, the scalpers uh, uh, we cover a lot about the price action and uh, I mean somebody cannot call me after three months and he was somewhere else with a different company and telling me right now come and and update me I mean I, I cannot update somebody for three months uh, sitting and chatting for 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 three hours trying to uh, so please trying to look after yourself trying to find out uh, what's going on as I cannot go around uh, behind every trader remind him uh, and uh, if you don't have the link for Monday's private webinars you just tell me you know send me an email and I will send it to you tell me you cannot make it I'll record it for you but uh, you know we're not sitting in a coffee shop you know so you can pick up the phone and tell me drop everything and come and sit with me for a couple of hours. I mean, this is a little bit uh, out of control. Uh, for for the new Seren, which we will be uh, recovering uh, uh, next uh, next uh, webinar, I want to cover the I want to cover uh, the uh, the the B scalper how we can take advantage of the B scalper uh, and uh, it has been very very consistent on the market order and how uh, if a trader uh, having a problem cannot read the market uh, before he start because we trying to do uh, to let the traders to look at the chart as an example in EAS and telling them before you start the auto trade uh, at least look at the chart and see where is your levels today on the EIS before you start trading or auto trading it seems like not too many traders can get this message or not too many traders can read this even here on a YouTube we're trying to explain that when the market gets into those chops you cannot simply auto trade you know whether you are using our auto trade or somebody else auto trade auto trades are not magical they are based on math and some auto trades are much better than other auto trades this is not the issue but when the market is diving in to problems it is your problem it's not the auto trade problem to understand what's going on and you have to wait maybe on this auto trade uh, I mean, I know some people that try to optimize the auto trade that you need to start half an hour before the market is open or 930. It is the, this does not work because I don't know when is the high time. I don't know if it's going to be nine o'clock tomorrow or 930 tomorrow or 10 o'clock or one hour before the market is the market is going to spike. Nobody knows when it's going to spike. Nobody knows when this market is going to take a dive. Nobody knows when the market getting chopped. So the only thing, if the trader cannot read those markets here, then uh, uh, of course we have a solution for you. And that's what we, uh, we want to cover next week, how you can stay profitable, even on a choppy market, even if you don't know how to read the market. We took a lot of work from you guys. You don't have to optimize. We tried that optimization for many years and a guy sit for six months couldn't even optimize 90% of those guys fell to optimize an auto trade and when you optimize it you see you are gonna be winner you put it on Monday to work you find out it's losing money 
because of the instability on that auto trade because you're not optimizing on minute you're optimizing on anything but a minute when you are optimizing on takes range rank bar you're just wasting time the only time you can optimize the strategy your chart is very simple straight forward your chart is on ninja trader is based on minutes takes is very nice once you know what is the the timing here is in minutes it's okay to start trading the takes if your auto trade working on one minute once you do the optimization on the one minute you can use on any auto trade any auto trade once you can get the optimization working on one minute you can use the same setting on a rank bar nasdaq anything you can use the same setting on the ticks on the uh, range on the rank bar then you can move on with a different time frame as long as this auto trade does not work on one minute you're just wasting time and money and that is never gonna that auto trade going to work because if you can figure out your auto trade how it works on one minute then uh, you are set to take any other different time frame if your auto trade does not work on one minute you just go in the circle for the rest of your life and you're not gonna get anywhere with that auto trade whatever you bought it from very simple straightforward so that's why we are very consistent on the one minute once we have the one minute working then the whole uh, enchilada on this uh, uh, range rank or whatever you want you can move on with those trades so this is uh, uh, this is one of the basic where maybe some people try forget to uh, teach uh, the traders uh, about it and they skip that part uh, right now the ES uh, trade uh, is going south welcome to trading I cannot do anything about it but uh, we will wait and see uh, there is a pullback on the ES and actually this is a re-entry point is uh, uh, the 13 25 is a re-entry point and uh, we'll see how uh, those trades is gonna uh, come out with uh, guys, I'm going to take a five minutes break. And when I see uh, outside the auto trades, uh, uh, I mean, actually, even if the ES is uh, uh, the signal is still working on that signal, uh, we are on a 462 ticks for today. And uh, this is really nice. YM uh, 730. Uh, the NASDAQ now start. Um, where is the NASDAQ? Okay, the NASDAQ. We already hit those target and we are exiting. So we are waiting uh, on a new signal on the NASDAQ. As long as this NASDAQ uh, below those area here, we will try to find a re-entry. The only time we are going to get a new signal on that auto trade, you get one signal going down short. It's not going to give you another short signal, the auto trade. The auto trade gave you one entry and gave you one target and you exit. You're done. Now, the second round on that auto trade is going to take a trade when there is a long trade. The advantage of that, the advantage of that, when the market goes in a chop, and like the other auto trades, when the market goes in chop, you're not taking the trades like a normal. Uh, auto trade will not dive into the chop because the mission on that trade or on that auto trade to enter the signal entry target done over we're done with the short and as you see if you've been trading long enough once this market is spikes go all the way down target hit as you notice after we hit the target on the nasdaq there is nothing left it's going back and forth doing this going back and forth this is where most of the time the auto trades start losing money so the auto trade did his job give you the entry give you the target and once you exit there is no more trade on that 
and now we are waiting on a new signal long the only time we're gonna get a new long signal if this nasdaq able to cross those area here as long as this nasdaq do not cross those area we are going to re-enter the market short manually you can enter it manually uh, because the auto trade job is done is over took the trade from the signal to the target and then it's telling you if we notice if we say on the nasdaq uh, there is a re-entry price on the nasdaq is 753175 75 I tell you where is the re-entry point is right there right front of you 753175 It's right there. This is your re-entry point on the NASDAQ based on the pullback. So the, right now the NASDAQ party is over and um, I'll try to find, uh, trying to pinpoint a reversal. Uh, let me see if I can try to open one of the chart to, uh, to see if we can uh, get the NASDAQ reversal, if I see anything good, I will call it for you manually. Once we get those two yellow lines here, you cannot take short anymore manually. The reason you cannot take shorts anymore in those area here, I mean, the scalper took a short. Yes, the scalper took a short, that's very fine. But for me, visually, to take a short in that area here, is gonna be very high risk trade and it's not gonna hold. And most likely those trades are not valid or eight out of 10 is gonna be um, uh, losing a trade if you're gonna take short in those area here. Your probability of losing on those trades are extreme. Now, The NASDAQ is going down, it's going out of the ring. It's very good. It's very short string uh, on the short. Yes, it's very good. I do not have a trade at the moment on the on the NASDAQ. But if you didn't take those short trade earlier on the signal, uh, it's too late to take any short trade right now on the NASDAQ because now we are going in a very critical area and it should not be trading the NASDAQ uh, to the short. Uh, this is a play, uh, and uh, you should not be in that game. You should not be in that game with the NASDAQ. This is immediately, uh, it's going to drive you crazy in this area here. Because, you know, if if you take a trade, you might going to get uh, 10 ticks out of it. But um, the risk is extremely high in those, in those area here, and I don't want it to... Uh, encourage anyone to take a short trade once we get and dive into those two yellow colors you should not take in any more short trade and you should be looking for reversals you know so uh, overbought oversold indicators they do, do not do anything for me it has to be much more oh okay for the uh, for the ones who are following us uh, right now, the NASDAQ, there is nothing uh, at the moment. And if I see a reversal, I will be calling that for you. Uh, for the ES, the ones has been waiting on the ES uh, trade. Finally, the ES signal kicked in. And uh, uh, the target on the ES is 908.25. You're not gonna get it at the moment. So at the moment, keep your eye on the 11. 2911 if you are on that trade keep yourself on the uh, 9 2911 this is the limitation right now on the es there we go so if you are happy with uh, with uh, this trade close it or if you want to stay longer trying to get to to the target very fine the best things you can do to this one here uh, put do not use an automated dummy trading stop. You just put a buy, you know, safety. Uh, one tick below the numbers you entered and leave it alone. Do not mess with it. If you're trying to grab all the way down here, 
You see, look, you see how this market came into 2911? That is going to pull back, and we know that. We called it that 10 minutes ago. We told you about it to be careful. And now, if you close that trade here, it's very fine on the ES. If you have not closed that trade, then you put uh, uh, one tick below this entry number and leave it alone because this is the, the projection right now with this double resistance support and uh, the market it has to go back a little bit and uh, and uh, then go on back and retest uh, the, the 1050. So I'm very clear about that uh, ahead of time uh, for the ones they know me. I'm always trying to give you prediction, not what happened or after what happened after the fact. We're always trying to give you a prediction ahead of time, not in the past. And uh, this is the way it has to be. Uh, any guy can see what happened in the past, but to predict the market is a challenge to anyone. So now the keep your eye on this one here. If we are crossing the ES right now, uh, it's still struggling. The, the party is not over on those lines here, folks. It's not. If we are able to break it, we have another bumper at 9.09. 9.09.50, we have another bumper to deal with. And then the destination on that one is 98.08. Final destination, we'll see. We'll take it from that area here, this side. Uh, if we want to hit it or close it on the target, or if we want to uh, take it and drag it a little bit more uh, on that trade. Okay. You can see where this ES is struggling, folks. For the ones follow us, the signal was plotted right at the beginning when we started this webinar today. And it was the only signal we had, it was the ES when we first started. So uh, for the ones are following us, uh, this is another round today on the ES like yesterday. And uh, keep your eye on the first column. I cannot uh, keep my eye on everything. So when you see a new signal, you're very welcome to, we are sharing with open arms, we are sharing our signal at no cost. You know, we're not collecting information. We're not collecting money. We're not co collecting your email. And after what I have seen yesterday, what those guys are charging and all the fake results they are putting out there, you're not going to find anything better than that for free. So, um, I don't know how long I can keep it, guys. Honestly, two hours a day is killing me. I don't know how long I can keep it, but I'm going to keep my head low, and I will try to 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 stay as long as I, I can on a daily YouTube, but it's not going to be forever, guys. I could be getting bored with it next month. So when I get bored with it, I'm stopping, you know. So I'm trying to educate or give a free education here uh, for free. But I don't know how long I can keep going on on a, on a YouTube every single day. It's really costing me a lot with timing and all this. So uh, when I get bored with it, I will be stopping. So it's not gonna be forever. Trust me, you know, um, because it's taking away everything from me. At, until now, I, I have not been able to just start my server. Uh, I have. Uh, four different servers and none of them is activated on the server at the moment. So this is uh, because I'm trying to keep my eye everywhere here. So I need to start uh, look at trying to activate some of my servers. I'm sorry.
As you notice on the ES, we're still on that uh, line here. Uh, the second bumper on that is 909.50, be careful. On this uh, pullback, you should not be uh, worried about because we have a double resistance. So this is actually re-entry point. Don't worry about this. I don't want to complicate things. I'm trying to keep it as simple as I can. And at 909.50, uh, uh, we have a little struggling, a little turbulence in that area on the ES. If you are on that trade, hang, hang around and just put one take. Either you're going to make a lot of money or you'll walk away. Uh, with one ticket plus, get it over with. Don't don't let it uh, uh, get under your skin. There we go. Okay. Um, let me see if we can find any trade. <laughs> CL uh, target on the CL has already been hit and um, let me see if I can find a reversal on the CL uh, but uh, the target is already hit and away above the target so there is nothing we can do uh, ES, uh, we are already running the ES, no, YM, the YM is already um, hit the target, it's finished, we are waiting on a new signal. Uh, NASDAQ, what is NASDAQ? NASDAQ, we are sitting, waiting, there is nothing on the NASDAQ. So actually the market is dying on us, there is nothing but uh, ES at the moment. And uh, the other instruments, the gold, Russell, YM, NASDAQ, ES, uh, the uh, 6E and the CL, they're all here and you will have a new signal in here. Again, I'm not the one who is uh, controlling those signals. It's the automated trading, uh, collecting those signals. So now we are sitting on the side, guys. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead, as I said, uh, okay, the, the YM, on the swing trading, one minute has hit the target. You can see where is the chop and I nailed 1,345. Okay, there is a new signal on the DAX, a new signal on the DAX and it is uh, 2208 target 12 uh, 181. So this is a new signal on the DAX, you can follow it. If you want to, as long as on a sim, please do not be careful with your live trading. So this is a, a new a signal on the DAX and then you will get the other signals uh, one after the other. I'm hoping that this market is about to turn around <clears throat> so we can have a new signal for you guys uh, before 12 o'clock. Five minutes and uh, I will be right back. Thank you.
uh, one of the things I like to to show you guys uh, that even if we are waiting on a signal, does mean you are uh, totally out of a trade. No, sir. If we look at this uh, ES as an example or NASDAQ, uh, the ES every entry point was 16, you know, 16, uh, 16, uh, 25. It is somewhere around there, the re-entry point. So when you see double resistance in those area here, for the ones that are new, the fully automated trading, the trading stop is a floor and fibs. It's not a dummy trading stop on this automated trade. It's not a dummy stop, uh, trading stop. It is the trading stop is based on the floor and fibs. The trailing, trailing stop one is based on uh, the, the floor and fibs, where the probability this market is going to project from that number. And this is a high, uh, high time frame trailing stop. So this is a major trailing stop. Most of the time on any given market, you will find that uh, the pullback re-entry on those numbers, the trailing stop one and the trailing stop two are Eight out of ten, they are very, uh, very. Um, uh, it's eight out of ten winning, you know. So no matter how bad it is, it will be outperforming most of the amateur trading uh, because this is a pullback re-entry. If we are examining what's going on here, it came in exactly where we predicted. By the time this market going up, your MACDs and your ATRs and your momentum is all pointing up. And this is where the traders start making mistakes, where everybody trying to go long, you will be sitting here trying to get short. It is the same story on every given market. If you look at those videos for the last three months, every day we've been doing the same maneuver day after day, day after day. So you cannot just dismiss those lines and those numbers. In the same time, they are very friendly use. Uh, you follow the signal, you follow the re-entry, and, and, and uh, whatever you can get out of it. And the whole idea is to be done trading by 12 o'clock, not to sit till 4 o'clock evening. We should be done by 11.30, 12 o'clock. We're trying to find the spike. In this market for today we're trying to find one trade can a bring the bread five six hundred dollars based on one contract or two contracts or four contracts depends on your and then call it off this is the same story right now uh i want to show to nasdaq traders right now we are coming to those area here what does that mean re-entry Re-entry right here, right now. Re-entry, folks. If I can find anything on this. I'm sorry, I keep losing all my charts. There we go. You see? It was a re-entry. And the NASDAQ is going to be back retesting those area again. You have a, a resistance line, you have a double resistance, and there is one line in between. It's gonna take a hell of a buyers to break all those areas on the NASDAQ. So when we call that trade right there, I'm not trying to uh, add ticks at the end of the day and tell you, look, I made you uh, 100 tick or 20 ticks. I don't, uh, I'm not doing this, but when I'm calling a trade for you, uh, to follow it on a sim, you do, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm showing you that we can predict the market ahead of time. That's all what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to collect ticks and then, uh, uh, you know, brag about it at the end of the day. Today you might make uh, you might make a hundred tick, and tomorrow you might make uh, twenty ticks. And there is nothing in the market, uh, the same numbers every day. If we want to look at the clean chart, those are your $35 zone. 
if we want to look at the Nasdaq a clean chart, we call that trade short. We have a projection at uh, 79.25. So this is an idea for a scalping. In order for this Nasdaq to break those area, we need the really uh, the ES to start taking off, encouraging. Uh, the ES is on the same place. So nothing is gonna happen to the Nasdaq. It's gonna drive you crazy. And let me prove it to you. If we look at the Nasdaq right now on the scalper, without a doubt, those scalpers are amazing. Without a doubt, whether you are using a market order or you are using a limited order, they are amazing. And if you follow those uh, uh, market analyzer scalpers, you you will be amazed how much you, how many ticks you can get out of them. Uh, but uh, right now you can see the Nasdaq is a struggling on the scalpers for a reason. Uh, we cannot say the scalper is not working when can nail fourteen hundred dollars for today based on two contract. We cannot say this is not good. It's a very good. And, uh, and uh, this trade is a struggling for a reason, not because the auto trade is not good, because it's sitting this NASDAQ in an area, and now the, the NASDAQ is getting caught in this channel here between the resistance and support, and that is gonna cause a problem uh, to any kind of auto trade uh, get in. And you can see now it's going yo-yo up and down between those area here, they are an ideal for scalping and getting a few ticks here and there. They are very good. But uh, those trades, short exit here somewhere around the, uh, where, is, where is my chart? Uh, around the, the projection, because this one here now is going to drive you crazy between the projection and the resistance. The resistance uh, is a 96.25 and the projection is 79. And right now we are at 1036. It's too early for this market to go sideways, but we do not control this market. The market is sideways and there is nothing we can do about it. But those are an idea uh, for uh, scalping, uh, getting a few ticks here and there. And, uh, and uh, uh, but uh, to, to use right now the NASDAQ for swing trading, there is no swing trade on the NASDAQ right now. Despite which time frame you are using, there is no swing trading at the moment on the NASDAQ until we cross those area here and we get a new signal. As long as this NASDAQ is not crossing those area here, we're only thinking short. We're only thinking short until we see, identify trend, pullback re-entry. As long as this market is it's not able to break those area here. Now we are only thinking short and short only. So this is uh, where uh, you need most of the traders. Uh, they make uh, uh, let me see. There is some of our members sending me message. Okay, for anyone, um, uh, if it's any of our members have a questions, uh, you just lay it on the Skype, we'll be more than glad. Uh, 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 for the ones that uh, start asking for the link uh, for members webinars on Mondays, uh, please uh, I try to uh, come in on Mondays to see what kind of updates and what kind of setting we have uh, and see if your system is uh, updated to the, I mean, we send out a memo for uh, updating, but I mean, you know, maybe it goes into the spam or something. So please try to look after you. Uh, for the gentleman uh, from uh, UK, uh, I strongly advise you, sir, to delete all the old. We have a new signal on the 6E. You see it? We have a new signal on the 6E. Uh, an entry price 175.15. Uh, target is uh, uh, 176.60. So you just saw the new signal on the 6E. I don't have it, sir. 
uh, so it's much better if you go ahead and um, and uh, delete everything, delete uh, the the NT8 file from your document and uh, and install it. Put a fresh installation, and uh, it will be my pleasure to come in and uh, install for you the NT8. But let's have an NT8 clean. So um, uh, the, this uh, NT8 platform is a bit fragile, and uh, sometimes you might, you know, we all have experienced some bad experience. So like what we have done yesterday on NT7, uh, I strongly advise you to uh, get the NT8 fresh. There is nothing in it, and we will do the installation for you once we are done with this webinar today. Okay, uh, for for the ones that are trying to scalp also the market, you can follow when there is a trade. As an example, right now on the 30-year treasury bond, uh, there is on base on the one minute, there is a short trade right now, market order, you can do that. And uh, this is based on a two contract. So also you can follow uh, any signals come in from the scalpers. Uh, they are very useful when we are stuck in this channel right now on the ES or NASDAQ. You can see uh, there is not much to do right now on the NASDAQ and ES. As long as this ES and NASDAQ got stuck on that channel here between support and resistance, as you see it right now, this uh, market is not going anywhere, and this is where most of the traders start losing money. They cannot read this market is stuck in this box right here. As long as ES is stuck in that box, you should not be trading ES at the moment until those big guys figure out which direction they want to yank that ES to. Uh, and I have no idea where they're going to take it. Uh, technically, from the technical side, uh, this ES is overdue right now, and we should be getting a new signal. A beautiful run on the NASDAQ earlier today. I have no clue. We have we hit the target, so there is not much to do. The, the NASDAQ is up and down, getting stuck. And this is where most of the traders start making mistakes and taking a trade, and they start losing money. So that's why... You should be sitting on the side at the moment with an ES and a NASDAQ because they are stuck in those channels and the market is sideways. But what we can do, we are about to have a new signal on the ES and we probably gonna have a new signal on the NASDAQ and I'm gonna keep my eye on it. I'm not calling any reversal trade today because uh, sometimes I'm busy, I don't see all the trades uh, on the market analyzer. Also, what you can do, as an example, right now, we just had a short trade on the scalper, two short trades on the scalper, and you can see it immediately. We have a CL also a trade, so you can follow those trades if you want to, or if you want to stay with the signal, you are very welcome to stay on the signal. And uh, uh, it seems like we are about to get a new uh, signal on the ES and uh, uh, keep your eye on the ES and keep your eye on this column. It uh, seems like we're about to have a new signal uh, on, on it. Let me see the NASDAQ. I keep losing my charts. I'm sorry, guys. We used to have them in tabs here, but uh, at the bottom here, I used to have all the charts in tab. And if you go back uh, from last week or the week before, for some reason, I noticed on um, um, NT8, when I have so many charts here on the top, it's uh, taking a lot of uh, energy from uh, your computer or from the NT8, which I have the latest i9 uh, uh, processor and uh, 
you know, tons of RAM. So my computer, there is nothing wrong with my computer. That's for sure. It's the latest of the latest and it's the best of the best. But uh, when I'm putting all those uh, instruments here, I felt like uh, the NT8 has start getting heavy. So that's why now I'm, I'm struggling to find all my charts uh, because I try. And uh, since when I separate them, I have the NT8 much smoother uh, to, 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 to deal with. And that is also easier for me if I need to highlight uh, any instruments, I don't need to keep going back and forth to it. We're maybe gonna have a new signal on the ES right now. So uh, we are struggling on that area here uh, at uh, uh, 1450. We will have the same struggle around 1575, but uh, there is no long trade guys. As long as we are below those numbers, we are still thinking short pullback mm -hmm. re-entry. So we just wait on the new signal uh, on uh, uh, the ES, uh, the best way and keep your hands off the mouth and uh, not to trade and get into trouble. So this is, uh, so this way we can get to 12 o'clock, everybody happy. I don't remember we had uh, a bad day uh, in here. Uh, even when we are going live, I don't remember we had a bad day following the market. You know, sometimes the market was bad, but we never had a bad day. So when we say to stay or keep your hands off the market, uh, guiding you for a reason, and this way we're not getting in trouble. Uh, I don't want to dig into the ES or the NASDAQ anymore for trade. I will be waiting on a new signal and uh, stay out of trouble, actually. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, for I'm sorry for the CL traders today. They were left behind. Uh, I'll try to dig the CL if I can find it. You see what is this ES? Uh, I don't want it to deal with it anymore. We need to see this ES breaking those area here. So do stay away from the NASDAQ and ES, please, until we get the new signal. Nobody said you have to keep trading. Um, when you don't see anything good to trade, then stay on the side that, uh, and uh, protect yourself. You should not be say, I have to trade right now. You know, when the market is not opening doors for us, we need to sit on the side and that's exactly what we're doing. We're waiting on a new signal. And um, right now this market is sideways. And there is no more news for today, so.
there's nothing left for today concern us with the news we're, we're at it. okay we'll see If we look at the NASDAQ, guys, it is in a very, very uh, bad area to take shorts anymore. I know it's not, uh, but uh, those shorts, when you are taking short in, in those area right now, uh, I can call those trades for you, but I don't want to do that because eight out of 10, those trades are high risk. And even if uh, the NASDAQ now, you can see there is a lot of sellers, which is going to push the NASDAQ a bit down. But those are not the tradable areas uh, to, to take a few ticks here, here and there. Uh, those are not safe entry anymore. I'm a very conservative trader. And uh, uh, technically, uh, the ES and the NASDAQ, you cannot manual trade it, neither automated trade anymore. Even if you are auto trading, you will be causing some damage to your account if you are on a live trade because there is no direction right now. And uh, the spike is over on the NASDAQ for today. Normally, the market spikes once, once a day. Very rare spikes two times a day. And we have a very nice at the beginning uh, the session where it made over a thousand dollar on two contract and it was a beautiful trend going down but right now this this movement if we look examine those bars a little bit more we'll find out there is no trades and this is nothing but losing trades so you can imagine how many traders here from those area after we said no more. How many traders took long and short and they're both lost money, you know? So this is a very serious matter to, to, to understand when to stop and when to start again. So stand heaven and auto trade. If we wanna take NASDAQ, stand heaven and auto trade taking left and right trade some they're gonna be good and some then they are going to really the reason that swing trading is still making money because he's still on that trade long time ago he's still on that trade from 1006 okay so he's not a trade in here He's all the way up here. So no matter what you are getting out of that, it's because you are already in that trade, trend. But for a guy right now wanted to take a trade on the NASDAQ, he will have a problem. Whether you are manual trading or you are automated trading, you will have a problem on your trade, you know? And uh, the biggest proof to show you, if we look at the scalpers right now, uh, they're all in red. They are struggling market. 
And now they start, little at that time, they start giving up all their profit for today. And uh, the market start biting your profit a little bit at the time until you become flat. And the reason is that areas now is done, is over, it's not tradable. You can see immediately there is a lot of red on the trades, a lot of a chop market. This is where you need to go get yourself a fresh coffee, wash your car, do something else, and leave this alone until we find a direction. And uh, sadly, this is uh, where a lot of uh, traders do not do not see that. Uh, and um, they just look at numbers. That's very nice to just look at numbers. But also, it's very nice to understand what's going on in that trades and uh, why, um, if this uh, auto trade is not making money, uh does i mean we can open a chart to see why it's not making money and uh, the one minute really revealed the, the the real story behind it if you have it on a rank bar you cannot see those so right here is a chop from from 10 24 until now we are still diving into chop market and and um, and this is not a tradable for swing trading at all so the best way is to stay on the side, really, on the, this market. This is really the best way to do it. If we look at the 150 ticks of scalper, is nothing but losing trades at the moment. This is the biggest proof for you uh, that it is a problem. And now the market is not really helping uh, because the market is in chop. And a little at the time, we start losing our profit for today. This is really uh, the biggest problem that traders should know when to stop. Again, the, the, the ES, if it's going to go anywhere, we're going to go back to the 11, 29, 11, and then it stops. So there is nothing in it on the NASDAQ. Uh, let me see the NASDAQ. On the NASDAQ, it's going to drive you crazy, this NASDAQ. And uh, there is no more trades on the, on the NASDAQ. Probably it will be somewhere around 69 level. There is no... No support areas here, but uh, this is is in a very critical area to take short anymore. So leave the Nasdaq alone and protect your profit. Okay, I'm gonna be sitting on the side uh, waiting uh, on the new signal, and uh, if it's uh, any of uh, our traders have a technical question uh, uh, about uh, the trade here only, you let me know, I will respond on your Skype.
uh, we are waiting on the NASDAQ and ES to give us a new signal. Uh, and it uh, seems like that we are getting out of the chop. And uh, we are about to have a new signal very soon on the NASDAQ and uh, Dow Jones, uh, uh, on the NASDAQ and then ES. Uh, today we have uh, uh, skipped uh, the CL trader and uh, this market on the CL uh, has nothing to do with the auto trade. I'm trying to explain uh, the, I'm trying to get you reversal for the CL trader, but right now I cannot call that one a reversal. The reason is we have a really support line uh, at uh, 70.52, and that is gonna drive uh, the traders crazy. And uh, if we, if you've been following us every day, we said uh, uh, between 11 and 12, we get the target one and target two, and we already did the target one, target two. But I cannot call this one a reversal. If you want to take a reversal, it has to be somewhere around 7095 reversal. 7095 reversal. If you want to take that reversal, it's on the sim only, and it will be um, uh, a very good entry for a reversal. We're waiting on the NASDAQ. It's a matter of time. We are getting a new signal on the ES and NASDAQ. And uh, and I will be uh, covering those the minute we get signal. We are about to have a new signal on the ES. And um, let's see if we're gonna get a new signal on the NASDAQ as well. It seems like we are about to get a new signal. So get ready for it. We need to cross this area. There we go. A new signal on the NASDAQ, a new signal on, on an, an ES. Your entry price uh, 29.16 on the ES exit at 29.20. Uh, the a signal on the NASDAQ is a, a entry price 501.50, target 525.50. On the pullback re-entry, you have 29.16 as a re-entry and 75.0150 as a, a re-entry point. So right now we are into those trades on the NASDAQ and, uh, and uh, ES. And there we go. Uh, for the ones who are following us on the ES, you are already 175 and also on the NASDAQ, you are already 150 based on one contract. If you are using the automated trade, you should be exiting at 2050. If you are happy with it, you can exit at 20, uh, 2050 uh, resistance line final destination 2150 and we will take it from there once we get to those area so on the last signal we have uh, six ticks on the es we have 22 ticks on the nasdaq Uh, for the CL traders, uh, I just want to make sure I got your numbers right. You see, as expected on the uh, CL, 
That's why I didn't call the reversal because I knew it, the 7054 is gonna be a problem. So what we are doing, we're gonna take it all the way from up here out of the band. And I have covered those um, many weeks ago, live here in front of you. So if you wanted to take a reversal, uh, there is a lot of money in the reversal. This has nothing to do with your automated trade in here neither the scalper or the swing trading or any of those. Those are just manual, visual call and trade. If you wanna follow on that on a sim, uh, I will put a short trade at uh, 70.95, a short trade on the NASDAQ. Do not take it from here, folks. The reason is you know, we have a very thick wall at uh, 70.53, and the second target here, this is a very chop area. You should not be taking any trades in those area here. Which on the CL, if we wanna look at the automated trading on the CL, uh, the CL is still on that trade on the automated trading. Uh, this is uh, the CL and is already nailed on this last trade. Uh, 1460, uh, fair enough, but if you wanted to close or if you are swing trading, you can leave it alone and uh, let the auto trade close it. Or if you are automated trading the CL today on the swing trading, if it gets to the 94, close it manually and uh, take a short trade manually, you can afford one small trade in there. We are expecting, if we take in a short trade from that area, we are expecting. Have you noticed guys, after we, we called the ES yesterday and we said it was over, the whole day after we left around 12 o'clock, the AS did not do anything yesterday, if you remember. So we are expecting if you go short on the 94 level, you need to exit around 70.28, 70.27 or 28 should be the exit uh, area on that one. So, very slow process uh, on the uh, NASDAQ. I didn't have the auto trade activated on it, but we had the entry. The problem with the NASDAQ right now we have this double resistance causing a problem on the NASDAQ, but the entry is very fine. And uh, once we break it, it's very tight today. Uh, the target is uh, what you see on the market analyzer, you can follow. Uh, the target is uh, 24, 25. Uh, this is your exit uh, uh, on, on that trade. So now we cross those, uh, short areas and now there is nothing but long on the ES and NASDAQ. You should not be taking any uh, short trades on the NASDAQ and ES at the moment. There we go, we're lifting on this. The ES is about to hit the target and uh, the NASDAQ as well. Now the last stop on the NASDAQ is right there. This is struggling on the uh, 1525, but we're about to break. And then we are about to hit the target at 2475. 
we still have a small bumper at uh, 21 level and then we are hitting a final target at uh, 2425 uh 15 57 ticks into the last signal on uh the nasdaq and uh, seven ticks on the es We still don't have a, a new signal on the RTY, on the Russell. And uh, the 30 year treasury bond, we don't have any new signals either right now. Or maybe it did when I was gone, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if you remember when we had a signal on the 6E, already nine ticks, 10 ticks on that trade from the last signal. And uh, I don't remember which uh, other signals we have. Uh, the CL, I don't think so. We got a new signal on that one yet. Target already hit a long time ago on the CL. NASDAQ, a little bumper on the way. On the, Keep your eye on the 75, 15, 25. This is where the problem is coming from on the NASDAQ, but the target, we should hit the target. So really sideway market.
If you have not uh, got uh, uh, the entry trade on the NASDAQ, you're very welcome to take that one. It's uh, 502.75. Follow on a sim, please. We're not responsible for your live trade. So 503 NASDAQ, or in that area here, market order on the NASDAQ is very fine. If you have not took that trade, take that trade here. Uh, there is not much on that trade. I try to, you know, visually call a trade or two. There is not much in that trade, but that will not leave the trader go home empty if he come in late today. So he will not leave empty handed. You have an option to close at 509 or if you wanted to do a plus one take and then go back and close it at 14 level. Uh, 75 14 level you can close it or you can close it on a scalping 509 25 and um, if you can afford to take more than one contract you take one more here and then both of them are there sell right there two contracts you can do sell uh, this is uh, one of the things you can always do is then taking two contract uh, if the first contract did take off we are okay with that if the second or if we are gonna the market is going to go against us, then at least look, we can average the price on, on those two. So this is uh, for the guys that have more than one contract, do not enter two contracts in the same spot. Uh, this is uh, very nice to do it this way and then hide your two stop loss behind those lines. Because if you, if this market going against you and you get filled here, so you average the price around 99.25, you can always get out of it. All, not always, but most of the time. So this is, it's like a safety. And we have another backup for that entry here. There is a thick wall for the NASDAQ. So in case if this market did not hold on those lines, then I'm sure it's gonna hold on that lines here, not unless if there is a big sell off, which is gonna break all those areas, which sometimes it happened in the market. But uh, the way this market is going right now, it's 11.30, those lines should, ho should hold and uh, there is two options you can take it exit is uh, 509.25 or 14.25 exit uh, on those two trades 
and I will leave it a little bit here on the side so you can monitor uh, those trade. I'm sure you, you have follow on those here. Okay. Folks, uh, that's all what we have uh, for today. The market uh, just died on us and there is uh, nothing to do anymore. Uh, it seems like getting uh, closer to lunch hour and uh, the market is not doing anything. It's, we got filled on the second one. You see that? So that's good. So the first trade will be, this is how you need to do it. And then the second one right there. This is a very, very nice uh, trade. Stand going to contract at the same time. We can spray them out. There we go. We nailed a huge takes when we first started today, when the market was moving. And this one here, you will not leave empty handed from us today. Probably this is better than when you are traded by yourself. I'm not worried about the ES because this is what we've been covering for many weeks. It's a pullback re-entry in those area here, but there is no short trade. We still in the long position and a long trade. So, and the NASDAQ, We are taking off little at the time. There is nothing uh, much, uh, guys. Uh, today is finished, it's over. Uh, I want to say thank you very much uh, for joining us today. And if you somebody is asking to stay on the NASDAQ. Okay, we'll stay on the NASDAQ. If you like us, give us a thumb up, please. Uh, we'll be grateful. We're not asking uh, for money. We're just asking for your support. And um, I'm sure you're very welcome. I will stay with you on that trade. And then you spray them out this way, my friend. Uh, there we go. That was gonna give you a couple of hundred dollars for today before you leave and whatever you made earlier today. You're done. That's probably, if you notice how we sit on the side for over an hour because it was no trade, and it is very easy when somebody able to guide you and tell you there is a problem here and there, then, you know, uh, not because somebody is smarter than you, it's just because he has sit behind the computer longer than you do. But everybody can uh, learn how to trade, guys. Just try to develop your own trading. Uh, for those here, uh, you almost nailed a couple hundred dollars on those trades. And um, that's also whatever you nailed earlier today. Thus is going to put in your, uh, you take the first trade at uh, 509.75. And the second trade is uh, 14.50. Look at this, beautiful $300 before you go for lunch. It cannot get any better than that. It's gonna be a nice juicy steak. Okay, two more ticks away to close. If you're happy with those uh, $300 guys, just go ahead and close it. You know, close it at uh, 509.75. 
some of the traders, uh, they're not even a members. They've been following us and they've been sending me emails telling me how much they are making every day from us. And uh, I like to also uh, get feedback on uh, today. Uh, the reason I don't keep uh, numbers because those guys, they want to keep uh, takes and everything. Uh, and most of those uh, numbers they keep and they say we made uh, 100 tick today on they're all false numbers because they want to sell. We are doing it here for free. So I don't need to impress anyone. We're just helping the traders. So I'm not selling uh, a trader room or I'm not telling you to come and follow me and pay me uh, $500 every month. We are sharing our signal for free, but it's out of curiosity. I like uh, to see the traders uh, results, not my results. My results, I know my results for today. But I don't want to sit down and uh, brag about my results. I prefer to see what the other did. Okay. So uh, my results are here. I know what I have done. But I don't want to impress anyone with my results. I want to see this guy sitting on the other guy's side results, okay? So, uh, I, I prefer, I like to just, you know, I don't want you to uh, uh, just tell me whoever has followed us today, uh, I like uh, to know, uh, just like to measure to see if, if uh, wasting two hours is it uh, helping anyone or not and uh, that's all you know so we don't want it to sit down and impress anyone you know uh, we we just want to know the other side how it's been receiving the signals and what kind of performance that trader is sitting on the other side which all of you have experienced when you go to a room, they claim they made 100 ticks today and and uh, you've been following him on those trades and you never see where those 100 ticks made from. So that's fine, that's fair enough. So here we're not selling anything, but I like to know how we are performing and uh, we have some people are not even uh, members, they don't even have a system, they just follow us uh, in here. And actually they are very impressive. They've been sending me emails and telling me, Sam, I did this and this and this, thank you very much, blah, blah, blah. So I don't wanna sit down and break about my numbers. I wanna see the traders' numbers and they are all confidential. I'm a very private person. So, uh, uh, you know, I like to go eat my steak in peace. I like to be on the beach in peace without anybody talking to me about trading and FIPS. So I'm a very confidential guy and a very private person. So if you're sending me what you are uh, made today, it's not going to be public. And I'm happy for you if you are making money. I'm not. That's why I'm here every day, two hours uh, trying. So, uh, and uh, and if um, I don't like also anyone to interfere with my business, but if uh, something I have missed to explain in the, in the, in here, or if somebody got misguided by any kind of signal we have given, uh, you highlight it for me. So because I don't want this room to be uh just uh, a guy bragging about ticks the whole idea is education so uh for those guys followed us on the last trade you nailed the 300 dollars 330 and now you are taking uh, the first trade out this is a 350 dollars in your pocket and nobody is asking you to share look 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 at this one look at this piece of crap one tick oh man 
no matter what you do in this business, the market always get under your skin, no matter what you do. Look how we put the sale order and look how this market poking us all the time. But uh, before lunch, uh, uh, I mean, this is, uh, I try to call one or two trades a day, visually, and the rest you can follow the signal. Uh, the reason I, I don't wanna keep calling the trades uh, because the whole purpose from this on the YouTube is education, not calling the trades. So, oh man, that pisses me off right before lunch. Folks, uh, give us a thumb up if you're happy with us and, um, and we'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Thank you, God bless you. See you tomorrow at 10 Eastern time. Bye for now.